Hey guys. Hey, hey Chris. How you doing? How you doing? Mike. Hey, Aaron, how you doing? I'm good, man. I just got this car from my grandpa. I drove all the way from New York. And by the time I got down here, I kind of heard this loud roaring noise coming from my front driver's side wheel. Okay. Uh, not exactly sure what it is, but I was hoping you guys could take a look at it for me. Great. Aaron, uh, you want to go for a test drive? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. When diagnosing a wheel bearing, you want to slur slightly to the right and to the left. As you swerve to the right, you're going to load the left side of the car. As you swerve to the left, you're going to load the right side of the car. When you load the wheel bearing, you're putting the weight, more weight on that side. So if I swerve to the right and I hear a noise, it's going to be coming from the driver's side. If I swerve to the left and hear a noise, it's going to be coming from the passenger side. This is how you diagnose a wheel bearing. On this car, we hear it get worse as we swerve to the right, so we know it's the driver's front wheel bearing that's making the noise. To confirm our diagnosis of a left front wheel bearing, we want to check it for any kind of play. Typically, we shouldn't have any kind of play in a wheel bearing. You're right, Mike. Let's check the horizontal. Vertical. Looks like some play there, Aaron. Uh, yep. Looks like we have a little bit of play in the vertical axis. We should not be there. Well, that definitely confirms our diagnosis of a bad left front wheel bearing. You're right. So let's take the wheel off and do a visual inspection as well. Since the wheel bearing is a sealed assembly, Visually, we can't tell if it's bad or not. Exactly right. But after the visual inspection, we did notice that the CV boot was busted on the outboard boot. What this will do, this will allow water and contamination to get inside the joint and damage it, causing it to go bad or fail. If we can get the approval on the wheel bearing, we can go ahead and replace the axle while we're there and save the customer quite a bit of money on labor. We're going to be there anyway. Well, great. Let's go find Chris, tell him what we found, and see what he wants to do. Hey guys, what you find out for me? Hey Chris, we did confirm the noise you heard was coming from the left front wheel bearing, but also during the visual inspection we found your left axle boot to be busted. Oh really? Wow. It's going to be a lot cheaper Chris if you go to us replace the axle while we replace the bearing. Uh, we can definitely save you some money on labor replacing both items at one time. That makes sense, makes sense. Uh, well guys, I, I really appreciate it. I mean that sounds great to me. Let's go ahead and get that fixed. Great. So right. Take care of it. To recap on the diagnostics, when you turn to the right, you load the left side. When you turn to the left, you load the right side. The side with the load that makes the noise is going to be your bad side. Now don't let this confuse you with a tire noise. A tire noise will typically not change from side to side as a wheel bearing will. So Aaron, is this something, uh, this part here, can we get this, should we go to the dealer for this or is this something that we can get from an aftermarket supplier? Well usually the dealer is the best place for any OE part like this, but they are available aftermarket. The only thing to remember is, when you go to the aftermarket bearing, the quality may not be there like an OE bearing, thus affecting the longevity of the part. Also, something else to remember, when you're replacing a hub style bearing that's bolt in, some manufacturers incorporate the wheel speed sensor into the bearing, so this could adversely affect the cost of the repair. That's something great to bring up, something we forgot to mention earlier. Great, well thanks for tuning in. Remember to like us on our Facebook page, AutoE Clinic, subscribe to our YouTube channel, AutoE Clinic. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, email us at autoeclinic at gmail.com. And remember, just because your carrots are tasty doesn't mean you should talk to them.